Bonjour. Bonjour. Hey Sage, mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Come on in. Comment ça va? Oh bien, merci. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien. Parfait. Bienvenue à notre bureau. Merci beaucoup. C'est génial. Oh, merci. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sage Bennett. I am a third year French major here at the University of Victoria. I am from a really small town in the northwest of British Columbia. Uh, yeah, I've been the president of the French club for about a year and a half now. Can you provide us with a brief explanation of what the French club at the University of Victoria does? I sure can. <laughs> yeah, so the French undergrad course union, sometimes known as French club, we do a variety of things here. There are kind of two parts to what we do. So the first is that we actually work with the French department. And so we help offer some really awesome resources and just uh, support for students that are either doing a major or a minor or a certificate, any kind of program or courses within the French department. And we help them out in that way. We work a lot with the professors in our department. But the other part where we kind of work a bit more like a club is to kind of just have fun events where people feel that it's a safe, inclusive environment where they can come and try their hand at French. They can practice French if they already know it or get some cool resources to learn as well. How did you first become involved with the French club? How long have you been involved? Yeah, so I kind of got involved by accident, to be perfectly honest. I first learned about our course union on uh, one of the clubs and course unions days in my first year of university, kind of just wandering by. And because I'm a French major, I was like, whoa, that's cool. French is kind of like what I'm doing. And I initially became the director of communications for our club. There was an opening for it and I thought that'd be a really cool way to kind of get a little bit more integrated into our department. And so I have been a part of our club for three years now. Started off, uh, like I mentioned, director of communications. And for the last uh, year and a bit now, I have been the president of the club. What kind of specific programs does the French club provide students at the University of Victoria with? How do these programs help students engage with the language? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have a variety of different programs that we have set up. Some are more geared towards some of the classes that we've got running, and some are just kind of for fun. So we have a peer mentorship program that we're hoping to relaunch again in the spring. So basically we have people fill out a short little survey about kind of what they're looking for when we pair them up with someone, what kind of skills they want to gain in French to get better at, and we'll pair them up with someone very similar. Uh, it's a really awesome program that we have, but we also kind of just do fun things. We have movie nights, board game nights, and it's kind of just a way for people to be in a really low pressure environment, but to still be able to practice their French and to feel comfortable to make mistakes and grow from that as well. To be in the French program to join the club and or participate in events, how can a student get involved? Yeah, so you don't have to be a part of the French department at all. It's really low commitment. If you see some advertising for an event that we're putting on and you think it sounds kind of cool, you're more than welcome to show up. Uh, that's kind of the way that you can even get involved. We recommend following our Facebook and Instagram pages and kind of just seeing what events are out there and if any of it tickles your fancy, then you're welcome to come hang out. Yeah, there's no obligation to even be in a French class to come hang out with us. How does the French Club provide cultural diversity and representation to students at the University of Victoria? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think one of the main things that we do is we kind of just help with visibility here in our club. Uh, it's pretty unique here that we actually have an all-women-led uh, executive team here, uh, many members being women of color. So it's really cool that we actually have that representation on our executive team. And it's also really important to us that we get to see some of that diversity, not only within our department, but we make sure that the events that we have are really safe and inclusive for anyone to come hang out and join us and feel that they're really safe in this environment. Oh, okay guys, I didn't see you there. Sorry. How's it going? Good. Do you believe that French education in Canadian universities is essential? It's a really good question. Yeah, I think French education is super important in post-secondary institutes. And I think a part of how we can make it so important in universities is really valuing how important it is in primary and secondary educations as well. 
were really able to foster that enjoyment of the French language and French culture at a young age, I think it'll be easier to, for us to see how essential it is when we actually get to universities. Why do you think French clubs and French education, like what we have at UVic, are important? Yeah, I think it's really important because it, again, just really helps us foster that safe uh, environment where people feel like it's okay to kind of experiment and it's okay to make mistakes with French. And I think that's really the most important thing. And even with French culture, like it's, it's again, a really opening, uh, welcoming environment. Uh, I think part of this too, though, is it's really important for us to help kind of dismantle some of the more colonial aspects of French culture that we teach in universities as well. And I think, uh, you know, our department here at UVic is doing a really good job of really heading in that direction. I know we have courses about, you know, indigenous literature in the Francophone world and we have African Francophone literature courses. And I think having more, uh, more courses like this and then more support from clubs like ours is really important as well. students contact you to get involved? Yeah, so we have a Facebook page which you can find uh, at UVic French Undergrads. We respond to messages on there. We also respond to messages on our Instagram account which is at UVic underscore French Undergrads. And you can also just shoot us an email if you're not really a social media fan and you can email us at UVic French Undergrads at gmail.com. Uh, the French Club also has a department in Clarehue on the second floor, so you can stop by C243, and chances are good somebody on the executive team is almost always in that office, and you can stop by, chat with us in person as well. We'd, we'd love to have you come hang out. Hey there! <laughs> Welcome to the French Club office. You can find us in Clarehue in C243. You can find someone in this office at most times during any given day. Uh, we're either in here studying or having a meeting and someone's always in here. We're happy to have a chat with you to help provide resources in any way that we can. Uh, if ever you're looking for a French board game or a cool book to read, we've got a pretty awesome shelf of those as well. And if you just kind of want a cool view, you can look out our window as well.